Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com with a very complicated explanation as to why whey protein may not actually be good for you, especially if you're using it as a supplement to help you lose weight. So you buy these big jugs of protein powder, it's almost always whey protein because that's the least expensive, most readily available protein. The more expensive powders are a mix of egg and casein and other proteins and they're probably better. I had a suspicion that uh, protein powder was making me have hypoglycemia attacks. When I would drink a protein drink, I'd get jittery and shaky about an hour later. I measured insulin level and blood glucose fasting. I drank a whey protein drink, and an hour later, I felt shaky. My blood sugar was low. My insulin levels were actually about 10 times higher. Why is this bad? Because insulin stimulates hunger, insulin stimulates fat storage. So if you're adding whey protein to your smoothie, um, you may be actually causing yourself a disservice. They did a study with diabetics who actually turns out that the whey protein may benefit their blood sugar because of the insulin release. So they gave diabetics potatoes and uh, bread for breakfast and lunch and measured blood sugars and it went up as expected. Uh, they then gave the same diabetics the same potatoes and bread for breakfast and lunch, but they gave them a whey protein drink additionally their blood sugars were better, their insulin levels were higher. So for a diabetic, it may actually be better to take whey protein to get that insulin release. But again, it can cause weight gain and cause fat storage. The one exception to this may be is if you are a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders know that insulin is very similar to a chemical called insulin-like growth hormone. This is similar to regular growth hormone, and bodybuilders will actually take insulin shots to stimulate growth hormone production to get bigger. They will also, after a at workout, take a high carbohydrate meal or take a high carbohydrate meal with creatine to stimulate insulin release with that hope of uh, releasing this insulin-like growth factor. For everybody else in the world, especially if you're trying to lose fat, especially if you're trying to control your appetite, whey protein may be de detrimental. So if you're going to do a protein drink or add protein to your smoothie, you probably want to spend a little bit more money, buy a casein or egg white or a mix of other sources of protein, not just the whey protein. So again, whey protein stimulates insulin release, lowers your blood sugar. If you're a diabetic, that may be okay, but for everybody else, that's bad. It causes you to eat more and it causes you to uh, gain weight and gain fat. So avoid whey if you can. Dr. Costello, thanks.